Hi, my name is Vinay and I will be demonstrating to control the position of a DC motor using 20SIM software coupled with 4C toolchain and in the hardware I would be using an M9 board uh, interface with a DC motor which is having an optical encoder connected at its back. So let me start with opening up the model. So I have my model ready in which you can see that the right hand side part this is the mechanical model of the DC motor setup where I have a DC motor with a gear having some inertia backlash and a little bit of bearing values. The measurement of the position is done with an encoder and the feedback of the encoder is given to a position controller. In this we can go down inside the model and we can see that it has a PID controller who decides the position control of the motor and he takes a decision based on the set point given to its input and the feedback getting through a model of attenuator. This is a simple model which divides the encoder count with the, the step count of the encoder which is 9840 so that he can convert into a revolution and now we see the simulation part of it. So in this model you can see that the model is quite good tuned to follow the set point. So here you can see that this is the yellow curve is the set point of the revolution and the red one is the feedback coming from the encoder which is the simulated or you can see the calculated result of the model which is quite accurately following the set point. Now, if I change any of the parameters, like if I go to my position controller in the PID, and let's say I change my gain instead of 10, I make it one. Now I rerun the simulation. So here you can see that the set point remains the same, but only the calculated simulation feedback is now not following the set point because the position controller which is in terms is a PID is not able to accurately follow the set point because the PID parameters are not tuned according to the mechanical model. So let's run the same model uh, in the hardware. So I may add the hardware video maybe a little later and to download this you go to real time toolbox C code generation. So 20SIM has a toolbox named as 4C toolchain, which not only converts your control model into a C code, but also helps you in downloading into the ARM9 board. So you just select the 20SIM 4C toolchain and your model to download, and it can connect with the board like this, which is an ARM9 board, which is a single board computer which can help you to execute the control model in its hardware architecture at the same precision possible in the PC. So to download, just go to select option, select TS7300, that is the hardware I'm using. Just say okay. So it will connect with the hardware using the LAN board. And just say apply. Now the next part is to connect. So you can see the encoder motor so it has two inputs let's say i disconnect this first okay so it has one input which is the feedback coming from the encoder so i can connect to any one of the encoder channels so as of now i would be using the first xja1 channel which is a counter counter just say okay the output of the dc motor i will feed it to pwm channel of the first channel that is xja1 pwm say okay say apply now the next task is to compile it so you can see that this is how the 4c runs configure connect compile and command so i have to compile now so he would be compiling using the inbuilt tool to change and he would be automatically at the backdrop will be compiling the code for you which hardly takes few seconds to do that now the next c is to command so here is your discrete time interval step or the frequency. You can change your start and stop time. 
to control the simulation run model just say apply and turn it to green now if you just play the uh, press the play button it will upload and start the model but in case you want to take a feedback from the hardware so you have to select the upload and start with the login so in this case you have to tell the 4c tool chain which parameters you need to record so i wish to see the set point x which is the position and i want to see the feedback which is encoder to rear motor output because if you if you go back in the simulation model and you see this is the point at the output of this i want to see this is the output i want to see in the whole c2 tool chain just press it again and say apply now i just run this model in the hardware so thereby you can see that the pink line is a set point whereas the blue one is the measured encoder output but you can see that there is a quite gap between these two and this guy is not following the simulation or the set point uh, very closely so that is because i have not modified my pid tuned up value so i go back to my pid model and instead of k being as one i make it to 10 so you can make the changes right here in 4c tool chain instead of going back to 20 sim and rerunning the tool chain again so you can modify all the parameters right here and rerun the model so i just say apply so you can see the value has been changed to 10 now i rerun the model so there you can see that this is very closely following the simulation uh, the set point so this the result is the same as we what got from the simulation uh, in 20 sim so thereby you can see that you have seen the position control of a dc motor using 4c and 20 sim setup i just add the video post of this video so for the dc motor position control this is the board what we have been using so there you can see that that is the arm line board so somewhere to us and there is a dc motor driver card so there are two drivers it has two optical encoder interface and two dc motor interface the driver board is interface to the online board using a ribbon cable and this guy is connected to the pc using an lan cable so which converts to usb and goes to my laptop because my laptop has only one usb port okay so here we have a DC motor which is a 300 rpm DC motor coupled at the back is an optical encoder with one revolution count accuracy as 9840 pulses per revolution okay so I just rerun the last model what we have done so there you can see So this is the model what we have just shown in the video so it very closely follows the set point 